today we're going to be looking at this M Power SBS Triple Diamond Stone Sharpening Station. So it comes in this lovely canvas carry bag. It's in a robust aluminium base, so it's really stable. They're leather strops to really polish your blades, like your chisels or your knives or your plain blades. These are magnetic, they've got a really good fix in there. And traditionally, if you're only sharpening it on a diamond, the problem would be you just can't get up high enough to the grade. But with these drops, this system, it starts from three, six, and then up to a 12. So you can polish it right up and then finish on this 5,000 grit and get a really mirrored finish. It comes with, these are all color coded as well. This is a wax. So that goes with that one. You can charge it with the wax like that. Each one. This is your final one. Comes with this oil. So we'll get you started. Good spray. So the idea is that you flatten in that back portion to get a really good edge. So you can start on the roughest one. Make sure you offer your blade in like that. Keep it nice and flat. Begin working it in. Couple more goes on that rough one. And what we're looking for, you see that smooth edge there? Can you see that, Abe? So that's, we know that's almost to the tip of the blade. So there's a little bit more work to do there. There we go. See, we've got a, a nice polished edge there now. Take it to the next section. Just give it a little, little polish on this one. This stage is essential for getting the sharpest chisels. You have to start with a flat back. Now we can take it up to the, the 1200 diamond, lower it on, flatten it on. There we go, we've got a nice finish on that now. I would always advise, I mean, you can go freehand on this. This is already quite a sharp blade, because it's fairly new. The idea is you've got two bevels on a chisel. That's your primary bevel. Usually that's about 25 degrees. That's too shallow an angle to retain an edge. So what we tend to do is put in a secondary bevel, it's a 30 degree angle, right at the tip. And keep that flat. And the most efficient way is a figure of eight. Go to the next one. I'm just polishing up the primary bevel at the moment. Now I've got a little burr on the back. It's just rolled it over. So I'm just gonna Flatten that back in on the 1200. That's all we need. Now we'll take it up to the 12. Just lower it down till you see the shadow go. take off that burr. All right, as soon as we've got a lovely edge now, I'm just gonna roll this over on the 1200, just so I can get the 30 degree angle. I'm happy with that. That's really razor sharp now, but we can take it a step further by adding these leather strops on. 
We're already charged with the compounds, the polishing compounds. Now what we need to do is lower that in, tip it over, and just pull it back. Just roll it over. I tend to do the back slight pressure. Take it to the next compound. Finally go up to the 5,000. You see that polished edge on there on that secondary bevel? Let's just flat that back in. Just knock the little burr off. It feels good to go. So what I've done here is I've just clamped a piece of end grain with a flat surface and then we'll see if this chisel that I've just sharpened will just pair that off. This is end grain. Beautifully sharp. It's absolutely beautifully smooth. So I've already got a diamond stone and various other wet stones like a water stone and an oil stone and I've got a linisher as well. But I've got to say, I am so impressed with this. You get so much. Three strops, three grades of diamonds, all the compounds, the oil, and in this neat little bag. So it retails for about 150 plus VAT. Honestly, I don't think you'd get a more comprehensive system. So if you'd like to get hold of one of these M-Power sharpening stations, follow the links in the description below.